Hi, my name is Tyler and I'm a teaching artist for the New Victory Theater. I'm a theater maker and stage manager. I have a question for you. How well do you know your neighborhood? Today, we are gonna think back to memories of our neighborhood. Then we are gonna go outside for a neighborhood scavenger hunt. Following that, we're gonna come back, think about our memories and activate them by using our bodies. Okay, what I'm gonna ask you to do now is gonna require a little bit of trust. I want you to close your eyes. Go ahead, do it right now. Close your eyes. Just listen to the sound of my voice. I want you to think about your neighborhood. And while you're thinking about it, use all five of your senses. I want you to think about things that you see, things that you feel or touch, things that you smell, taste, and of course, different things that you hear. Give yourself a second. Think about what are the different things maybe I feel when I'm walking down the street beneath my feet or with my hands, different things I hear, maybe the train, maybe different cars, maybe people speak different languages in my neighborhood. I want you to give yourself a few more seconds. Use those other senses. Are there different smells that you smell while you walk down the street? Maybe foods that you like to eat around you in your neighborhood. Give yourself a little bit longer and now you can open your eyes. This next part is gonna require two things. Something to write with and something to write on. You could also choose to use your device or tablet if you wanna be a little more eco-friendly. I want you now to take about 30 seconds and make yourself a list of all the things that you remember. You can use one word answers, you can use descriptive words like colors, textures. I want you to really give yourself, uh, 30 seconds, which isn't a lot of time, but really give yourself the full use of all the things you can remember. Uh, and of course, let your senses be your guide. Go ahead, write them now. All right. It is now time to head outside. Make sure to bring your list with you. While you're outside, see if you could find everything from your list. You might even surprise yourself and find something new. I live in Brooklyn, New York. How about I take you outside with me and show you what I mean? All right, come on, let's go. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your trip through your neighborhood. I know I did. Now it's time to use these memories and what we saw and put them in our bodies. How are we gonna do that? I want you to go back to your list and look at some of the words from it. Choose three of them. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those words in our body and we're gonna see if we can recreate. Now that we saw the sights, we thought about the sights, let's see if we could recreate them with our bodies. I'm gonna show you first. My first word is shiny, all right? So if I put shiny in my body, it would look like this. I'll say it as well, here we go. Shiny. Now, while you went with me on my journey, did you remember seeing anything that maybe looked shiny? Give yourself a second, see if you can remember. All right, I was thinking about this. Okay, how'd you do? Did you remember the same thing I did? All right, I'm gonna go to my next word from my list. My next word was green. I'm gonna show you green using my body. Here I go. Green. Now, was there anything from my journey that was green that you remember? Hmm. How are we doing so far? Are we remembering the same things? My last word from my list that I'm gonna share with you is tree. All right, let me show you tree with my body. Here I go. And tree. Now, when I walked around my neighborhood, do you remember me seeing any trees anywhere? I 
hope you enjoyed our time that we spent together today. Really take your time when thinking about your memories of your neighborhood. Take your time as well when you're walking through your neighborhood. Maybe take some photos of your own or some video. And then when you return and put those memories, those words into your body and really activate them, have fun. You can even share them with your loved ones at home and see if maybe they remember the same things as you. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.